If your child is going through a bedwetting phase, you're probably wondering what's causing it. The short answer is that it's usually down to a minor developmental delay, which will straighten itself out over time. It's quite rare for bedwetting to be caused by an underlying medical condition. The most common form of bedwetting is called primary nocturnal enuresis. This refers to when a child has never been dry at night. Common causes are things like genetics, a neurological developmental delay between the bladder and the brain, or the underproduction of the antidiuretic hormone ADH that signals to the kidneys to produce less urine at night. The other type of bedwetting is secondary nocturnal enuresis. This refers to a child who's been dry for six months or more and then starts to wet the bed. This is typically the result of underlying medical issues or emotional factors. For children with primary nocturnal enuresis, it means your child's bladder capacity has not developed to the point of being able to hold urine overnight. Children who wet the bed at night may have a nervous system that is slow to process the feeling of a full bladder. So your child does not wake up or respond to the messages sent from their bladder to their brain saying it's full and needs emptying. As their body matures, the messages sent from their bladder start to get through and your child learns to wake and go to the toilet. Most children who experience bedwetting haven't reached this developmental stage yet, but don't worry, they'll get there soon. While deep sleeping certainly plays a role in bedwetting, it is not the primary cause of why it happens in the first place. Deep sleeping just makes it even harder for children to respond to the signal sent from their bladder telling them to wake up. Secondary nocturnal aneurysis is a little more complex. If your child has been dry at night for six months and they relapse back to bedwetting, it's often a sign of emotional problems or stress. Common catalysts include big events such as moving house, a new sibling or starting school. Stressful situations including tension in the home, death of a family member or pet or being bullied at school can also cause your child to start wetting the bed again. Other causes of secondary bedwetting include minor medical conditions such as constipation or a urinary tract infection. In very rare cases, bedwetting can be caused by diabetes. One thing to remember through all of this is that the cause is never laziness. It's important to remain calm and not to take out any frustration on your child, even though it can be a real pain to change sheets every night. Provide some extra support to your child by using dry nights pyjama pants or bed mats. It gives them a little more independence and they're an effective safety net at night.